Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to solve uh, real life simultaneous equations. So we've got a couple of examples here to go through. So our first example is two teas and three coffees cost £4.10. Five teas and two coffees cost £5.30. Work out the cost of a, of a tea and a coffee. Okay, so the first step is to write down the two equations. So I'm going to call a cup of tea X and a cup of coffee Y. Okay, so our first equation will be 2X plus 3Y equals £4.10. And our second equation will be 5X plus 2Y equals £5.30. Okay, so what we're going to do then is make the y numbers the same. So the lowest column multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So that means I need to times the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 3. So if we times the first one by 2, we get 4x plus 6y equals £8.20. And if we multiply the second equation by 3, we get 15x plus 6y equals £15.90. So as you can see, the y values are now the same. So we can take these equations away. So this will eliminate the y variable. So I'm going to do the bottom one, take away the top one, otherwise you'll get negatives if you go top, take away bottom. So 15x take away 4x is 11x. We know that the y's cancel. And £15.90 take away £8.20 is £7.70. So if we just divide by 11 now, that will tell us the value of x. Okay, so 7 pounds 70 divided by 11 is 0 0.7. So that's 70p. So that is the price of a cup of tea. Okay, so we just need to now work out the price of a cup of coffee. So we can do this by substituting 70p back into one of the first two equations. I'm going to pick the first equation. It doesn't really matter here. So if I just write out the first one. So we know that x is 70. So we can put this into this equation by doing 2 times 0.7. So that will be £1.40. So we just need to solve this equation now. So if we take £1.40 off both sides, that will give us uh, 3y equals £2.70. And then divide by 3, because y is being multiplied by 3. So that will give us y as... 0 0.90, so 90p. So our tea is 70p and our coffee is 90p. So let's move on to example 2 then. So we've got one pen and one ruler cost 33p. Four pens and three rulers cost £1.17. Work out the cost of one pen and one ruler. So again, let's write down our two equations. So let's say the cost of a pen is x and the cost of a ruler is y. So our first equation would be x plus y equals 33. And our second equation would be 4x plus 3y equals... So since I did the first one in pence, I'm going to put that one in pence as well so it's 117p 
So again, let's eliminate the y variables. So to do that, let's make the numbers before y the same. So we just need to multiply the first equation by 3. So that will make it 3y. So we've got 3x plus 3y equals 99. And if I just copy the second one down. So again, since we've made the y's the same, we just need to take these away to eliminate the y variable. So 4x take away 3x is x. 3y take away 3y cancels out. And 117 take away 99 is 18. So the cost of our pen is 18p. Today I'm going to talk about some math factors. Okay, so let's have a look at working out the cost of a ruler. Okay, so we just need to substitute this answer back into one of the first two equations. So obviously let's go for the first one. So let's just write that one out. So x is 18p, so it's 18 plus y equals 33. So if we take 18 off both sides, 33 take away 18 is 15. So we get an answer of 15p. So that's the cost of our pen, which is 18p, and the ruler is 15p. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.